Anthony, everyone. How are you doing? What a glorious day. It's Saturday afternoon, come to about half one. We're in that camp. We're doing an all-nighter. There's going to be quite a few of us coming down. Nice big party in the woods. Me and my brothers. I got my pack on. All my sleeping gear in there. Uh, my electrics. We've got beer, we've got wine. We've got about five litres of water. We should be set for the day. Everyone else is coming down later on. I'm going to cook up a stew. Uh, we're going to cook up some salmon. Ah, it's going to be a good one. I'll bring it back as and when. Well, looks like we've got some more poon cedar here. Absolutely no need for that at all. No need. Absolute idiots. We're back. Absolutely sweltering day today. I want my sun hat on, as you can see. <laughs> so people have been coming down since Tuesday. They've cleared out the fire pit. Uh, they've used the bag and put all empty tins of beans in there. Uh, the branch which was growing off this tree over the top of the log cabin has been ripped off for some unknown reason. Like that branch as well I showed you there, that's been ripped off. Been snapped for some reason. Pile of wood has been moved to here. I know it's not me because I tidied it all up with the day. So that's the reason why I came down early, because I knew it's going to be a nice day. People are going to be starting to come down when I'm out here, but we're here today, unlucky. I dare say it's going to be, I'm going to be here for 24 hours, I reckon. About half one in the afternoon now. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Oh. So I'm just going to chill over this beer, wait for everyone to come down. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to tidy up the snapped bits that people have done. I'll cut them off, then cut them up, <coughs> put them over at log store. Uh, yeah, then just start getting uh, firewood. Not for this afternoon, obviously I'm going to need some for later on tonight. Yeah. So, so I am so glad I've come down early. Cause like I said, it's such a hot day today, you expect people to be coming down. But they'll come around the corner and then see me and the rest of the lads here, they'll be like, nah. And come up with a rubbish excuse, and like, oh, I didn't know the path came this far, like they do all the time. It's like, bollocks, you knew exactly where you were going. But I brought a load of bags as well, so we can take all this rubbish out in the morning. So we'll tidy up after ourselves. So I'm going to tidy this up here and the branch that's been snapped off <clears throat> because I forgot my tripod I'm going to fashion a little uh, cooking stand out of it so I can put it over the fire later so we can cook the stew same with that branch, I'll take it off I'll do the rest of the stand with that there we go got the pot in there just above the fire been a while since I made one of them That's what we do with rubbish boys and girls. We put it away in a bag and not throw it around everywhere. I'll tell you something, I still love the place. But the destruction that these idiots have caused, it has taken a shine off it. I mean it's so empty, I mean empty, so open here. So Mark's arrived, there he is. Just putting some of them weeds up floor so he's got a bit of a bedding. I just had a missed call of Chris, so I'm going to phone him back and we'll see where he's at. Well, we've got uh, Mr Christopher Needs in there. And Alan Harris just over there, they've just arrived. Pitching the tent, getting the bed sorted. It's about another five, six people to come down. Well, I can't see him, but Gene's here as well now. Let's go over here. There he is. Oh. There's Gene, Gene's here. Hi Gene! <laughs> There's Gene. Hi, Gene. Sound. Yep, a few more people will arrive soon. Yeah. 
Good thing. What's this? Hey. Why are you come to one of our camps? You're welcome with some beef. It's a beef and welcome. Welcome beef if you like. Setting up over there, and uh, Dan and Soul just arrived. Oh, yeah, there's there's a the dancer, and there's Soul disappearing. Hi! <laughs> Happy days. When I was here last, I was like, John, you can actually just rub it off. Right. Yeah. That's the secret of the like, don't you, John? What's that? Bart Simpson on the train. Yeah, look. Bart by Dad. Bart, awesome. Bart's <laughs> work. Check out my Bart work. <laughs> check out my Bart work. Come on, let's go and check out this Bart work. There you go. All your poons have come to camp. I've, I've only just finished it now. I did, I did it with the stick. Oh, have you been doing that? Yeah, it's called Bart work. Bart work by Alan. Bart work by Balan Harris. Balan. <laughs> Bart work by Balan Harris. What you're seeing here is live art being Hello. produced. This what? Live art or live Bart, as I like to call it. There we go. I'm a Bartist. <laughs> Alan Harris, Bartist extraordinaire. <laughs> See that? Them boys. Don's arrived. It's Dan, Mark, Soul. Alan, Chris, Devo, Jeans over there. There's some boys, we're all here. Happy days. I just feel it in your head, it just feel in the face. I got a whole lot of wood. I got a whole lot of wood. Hello. It's coming in, man. Right, so tell me what you think about American. Americano. I'm an American hero. Mm, American hero worship. Alan, Americans. Alan's Harris. Blooms. Are you blind? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really strong. It's a bit crap. Uh, I, want to I want you to notice. When Sil's not around. When Sil's not around. Sil's fucking special. Sil's <laughs> fucking special. Oh, I wish Sil was special. So fucking special. Did it again. But the cream. <laughs> it's not that special. No, but really. Oh, <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Unpleasant, very unpleasant. He's not even here. So don't be along here. With Donald. <laughs> Sewell don't belong here. Bye, Sewell. See ya. Nice uh, to see you, Sewell. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you can hear me. That's my view from bed. Don't know. You need to see Paul walking out there. So, I've literally been asleep for about an hour. And uh, this group of kids, about 18, 19, all come up. They've been out all night, they've been off it, they've been doing their own thing, they've been. Uh, yeah, been getting on it. And they, uh, yeah, they came down, they said they'd been down here before, a lot of this mentioning. Uh, a lot of people coming down, going, oh, we'll go down cabin. We call it the cabin. We'll go down cabin, fam. Yeah, heard that. We'll go down cabin, fam. <laughs> yeah, people are actually saying that. But yeah, they seem like good kids. Just doing their own thing, getting out. But lunch have been asleep just an hour. I just have to go back to sleep, I think. I'll speak to you soon. Exceptional. <clears throat> well, so everyone's gone now. G's still asleep. It's just uh, me and Paul here. And everyone else is gone. <clears throat> There's G in his uh, tent. There we have it, all packed up, tidied around. Got a few crisps on the floor, but I'm dare say some animals will eat that. Everything's tidy. Bags of rubbish to take out. There we go, camp in the background. <coughs> well, what an epic night that was. Proper good. Big shout out to Kemst, G, Al, Devo, Don, Sewell, Dan, Chris, Mark, all the lads that came down. Massive thank you. Great night that. So we're heading home now. <coughs> Gonna be a, a day of having a shower and sitting on the couch and not doing a great deal else. Thanks very much for watching. We're down on Tuesday. See you soon. See ya. <laughs>